In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sequence field, so a new sequence field. This is going to utilize a short bit of Python. We're going to first install our Studio application. So we'll install Studio, and then we'll show you how this all works. First thing to remember is that we do need to be in developer mode to see some of these screens that we're going to go to, such as sequences and automated actions are enabled when we have Studio installed. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new field. And for this example, we're going to try to create a sequence for barcodes. So let's say we want it to automatically generate a barcode if there's not one set. So we won't create a new field for barcode, so we'll just use the barcode, but this can apply to any field. So the first thing we want to do is create a sequence. And in order to create a sequence, there is a technical menu in order to create sequences. We can just type in sequences, and you'll see it's under settings, technical, sequence identifiers, sequence and identifiers slash sequences. So now we're going to create a new sequence, say barcode. And we can give this a name. We can give it any name we want. We can call it barcode and we'll say C. The prefix here is going to be the prefix you want on the barcode. So every barcode that gets generated might have a, a prefix and every barcode might have a suffix. So what comes at the end? So for example purposes, just so we can see how this is utilized, if we say A, B, X, Y, Z, so every barcode is going to say AB with ending XYZ. And the sequence size, let's say it's five characters. Or let's say 10 characters. Step is how many sequences do we skip in between? So if this is 10 and the next one is going to be one, I'm sorry, 11 or 12, et cetera. If we want to just have one step, we'll just leave it at one, and then the next number in the sequence, and this will get updated depending on what we use. We have a legend down here where we can insert our sequences. So if we wanted to use something like uh, the day of the year in order to apply it to our sequence, if we're using this for something else, or a date maybe if we're using this in, I don't know, CRM. So we'll just leave this like this, and we'll go to save, and we'll create a new automated action that updates our sequences. So we're going to go to automated actions. We're going to create a new automated action. And we're going to say, this is for barcodes. The model is going to be on our product. We'll say product template for this example. You might want to do it on the product product. It makes more sense, but I don't have variants enabled right now. So we're going to do on creation of the product, we're going to execute Python code. So here, what we'll say is very simple. We'll say, if not record.barcode, what we want to do, if it does not have a barcode set, we want to set a barcode. So we're going to do record.write. And what we're going to simply do is for the barcode field, we're going to go into our sequence environment. And we're going to execute the next sequence in that barcode. And we're going to use that barcode name that we created. So that was barcode underscore sequence. Let's just double check this. It's if not record.barcode, record.write to the barcode field. And we're going to go into our sequence environment and execute this function that calls the next for the barcode sequence. It's going to create the next sequence um, that's supposed to be created based on our steps that we set. So we'll save that and we'll see if this works. So we'll go to inventory. And we'll create a new product. Test barcode. 
We'll save that. And as we see, our barcode got created. Now, if we create a new barcode, test two, we see that a step by one. So the first one was one, this one is two. And now if we create another one, but we apply a barcode, it will not overwrite it. So that's simply how you can create a sequenced field inside of Odoo.